Hey, it's Katie with Usborne Book Battalion. I just wanted to give you a quick intro into the world of Usborne Books and More. So Usborne Publishing began um, in the UK about 40 years ago. Peter Usborne is the person that started it all. Um, and around the world, Usborne Books have gained popularity over those 40 years. And they've really made a name for themselves um, as a children's publisher. So in the US, we may not have heard of Usborne as much. Um, we're more familiar with maybe Scholastic, but Usborne is the leading name for children's publisher around the world. Um, they're just less known in the US so far, so we're working on changing that. But Usborne Books and More is the US-based um, direct sales company, and we acquired Usborne Books and Kane Miller Books, so that's how we are Usborne Books and More. Uh, so I just wanted to give you an idea of what Usborne books are. Um, you may have heard about them, but you're not quite sure if they're all for babies or are they all um, chapter books or maybe they're just all nonfiction and those aren't the things you're looking for. Well, I just wanted to tell you, Usborne books are for everyone. We have something for all age ranges, all abilities, and all reading levels. So I'll show you. We start out with our little baby books. We have some great books for babies, um, touchy-feely books like this one. Um, this is part of our touchy-feely collection. This is That's Not My. These are great for your little readers. Um, same here, this is a touchy-feely book, Animal Hide and Seek. This one's a little more advanced because it has the flaps. So as you can see, we kind of graduate up um, as your kids develop and um, their maturity, you know, also develops so you move up to more difficult books and maybe books that have things like flaps that babies would um, probably tear out but maybe your older toddlers and preschoolers would have a little more understanding that we don't pull the flaps off we have books these are great for preschoolers here we have tons of picture books um, this is all better and it has band-aids to go through as your reading your story and you run into all these animals that have boo-boos and they need a little help. So great picture books, um, interactive books, like these muddle and match books, I love these. These you just kinda mix them up, make funny characters. They're a lot of fun. You can make the correct character or totally mix them up. Silly. Um, great picture books like that. We have picture books based on true stories, um, like this one here, Amelia Who Could Fly, is based on Amelia Earhart's story. So, really a great way to introduce um, a nonfiction story to your children in a picture book. We also have tons and tons of interactive and activity books. Um, these wipe clean books are one of my favorites. They're great for teaching your kids to write. Um, letter recognition, pen control, numbers, um, colors, shapes, anything like that. These books are perfect for that because they can draw on it with their dry erase marker and then just wipe it off when they're done. But we have so, so many activity books, um, little puzzle books like this. We have paper airplane books that teach you how to fold different kinds of paper airplanes. And this one's actually paper dragons. So it's dragon themed pages. Super fun, interactive activity books like that. Sticker Dolly dressing books that are um, sticker books, but a little, a little more fun because they're um, outfits and they're kind of like paper dolls, but they're stickers. So your kids can dress up their characters in all different outfits. So super fun stuff like that. We have chapter books. Um, this is our beginner chapter book series, Billy B. Brown. As you can see, it's a very small book. Very easy to read. This is, again, your beginner book. So these have 50 words or less per page. So your kids aren't gonna be overwhelmed um, being their first chapter book. Still has pictures. Um, and then we have older chapter books too. As your kids grow out of Billy B. Brown, we move up to the Billy B. Brown Mysteries, um, kind of a step up in maturity and reading level. And then there's chapter books all the way up through middle school and high school. So really tons of great options for chapter books to choose from. Um, tons of nonfiction books. This one's kind of a nonfiction and a picture book, but these shine a light books, all nonfiction, but these are the one that you shine your flashlight on the page and um, show the, the hidden picture on the back of the page. 
it shines when you light it up with a flashlight. So these are super fun, interactive way to get your kids into nonfiction. Um, most of our nonfiction books are interactive in some way, just to encourage kids to um, stay engaged and stay interested because, you know, reading a textbook isn't really fun. But if your textbook looks like this, I'd read it. It's got flaps, it's got lots of colors, super fun. Um, this is about computers and coding. So not exactly the easiest topic to understand and grasp, but with Lift the Flaps and Colorful Pages, Bite Size Chunks, that's the key. Um, same thing here, we've got some great, another nonfiction book, this is how things work. Um, again, with your flaps all throughout, you can lift, see what's underneath. Lots of fun with those. And then, like I said, we have books for middle school, high school. This book, I would even say it has no cap on the age range. Um, as I've looked through it, I've learned things. Um, I have lots of friends who have other versions of our encyclopedias and they've used them to look something up before. But these are great, the encyclopedias, they're internet linked, which means you go in, in the front of the book, there's a page about our Quick Links website. And it's just a safe browsing website. Um, so what you do is say you're reading here about your natural hot water um, and geysers and you wanna know more. You just type in the quick link from the front of the book, type in the name of the book and the page number and it'll give you even more articles and videos and information about um, whatever topic it is you're reading about. And so these are great for research papers all the way up through college um, because they're nonfiction, they're encyclopedias and they are jam packed full of great information, but again, bite-sized chunks, lots of pictures, still fun, not um, your generic encyclopedia. So that is my quick introduction to Usborne Books. As you can see, we obviously have something for kids of all ages, and I hope that you have seen something in this video that works for your kids, or if you need more help, just find me on Facebook at Usborne Book Battalion or head on over to my website to shop. That's usbornbookbattalion.com. Thanks.